Dear students, the biggest news coming out today, November 13, 2025, is that the National Testing Agency, NTA, has entered the final stage of preparation for NEET UG 2025 applications. According to the latest updates, the application forms will be released by the last week of November or the first week of December. That means students should now start preparing not only for their studies, but also for their documents and application details. A major change this time is that the application form will be auto-verified using odd R and school records, meaning there will be fewer chances of errors and fewer edit windows. NTA is also hinting that the exam might be conducted in CBT, computer-based test mode, though final confirmation is still awaited. So students must keep their email ID, mobile number, passport size photo, and signature ready in advance to avoid any last-minute technical mistakes. In short, NEAT 2025 will be more transparent, more technical, and faster than ever, so now is the time to trust yourself and give your 100%. Link is given in the description. Point 2. Major update on exam date and mode. The second confirmed update is that NEAT UG 2025 will be conducted on Sunday, May 4, 2025. According to NTA's plan, this exam will be held in offline, pen-paper mode, just like every previous year. Earlier, there were rumors that NEAT 2025 might go online, but fresh reports confirm that offline mode will continue, as it's still the fairest and most convenient format for medical aspirants. All exam centers have already been instructed by NTA to complete their preparations before December 2025. Now, the main focus is on the syllabus as per the National Medical Commission, NMC. 100% NCERT syllabus will be followed with no reduction. So students who were studying from older editions of NCERT must revise using the latest ones. Experts believe that this year's paper will be slightly more application-based and conceptual, favoring those who truly understand the concepts instead of just memorizing them. Point three, huge news on seat increase and in new colleges. Here comes the happiest news in NEAT UG 2025. Over 4,500 new MBBS seats are being added across India. Out of these, around 2,000 seats are in government medical colleges, and the rest are in private colleges under government fee structure. According to the Ministry of Health, 12 new government medical colleges have been approved, mostly in Madhya Pradesh, Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, Assam, and Rajasthan. This means that the overall cutoff is expected to drop naturally due to the seat expansion, especially for students scoring between 500 and 20, 550 marks, this is an amazing chance to grab a government seat. In 2024, there were around 1.10 lakh MBBS seats, but now the number is expected to cross 1.15 lakh. The government's goal is to have one medical college in every district by 2030, and this expansion is a big step in that direction. Point four, big prediction about cutoff drop. Now let's talk about the cutoff, the most awaited part for every student. In NEAT 2024, the cutoff for the general category was 164 marks out of 720. But this year, experts predict that the cutoff may drop by 10-15 marks. The reasons are clear. Increased seats, new colleges, and better state quota distribution by NMC. Reservation policies for SC, ST, OBC, and EWS remain the same. But many states are introducing extra reservations for government school students. So even those with 400-480 marks can now dream of a government seat. States like Tamil Nadu, Bihar, Madhya Pradesh, and Gujarat have already shown signs of cutoff reduction under state quota. In short, NEAT 2025 will be a golden chance, especially for those with lower marks but strong hope. Point five, counseling process and MCC preparation. Now let's move to the counseling updates this year. The process will be even smoother and more digital. MCC Medical Counseling Committee has announced that all India quota AIQ counseling will begin in the first week, June 2025. Then, statewide counseling will start by the end of June. This time, MCC has introduced auto verification for NRI, PWD, and EWS certificates, which means fake or mismatched documents will be automatically rejected. Also, choice filling and seat locking can now be done via mobile phones, so a laptop isn't mandatory anymore. Another new feature is the Mega Stray Vacancy Round giving one final golden opportunity to students who missed admission earlier. So this year's counseling process is going to be faster, more secure, and more student-friendly. Point six, state counseling and local reservation updates. Each state has also upgraded its counseling systems. 
Now most states like Madhya Pradesh, MP Online, Karnataka, KEA, Uttar Pradesh, DME, and Bihar, BCECE, have completely digital platforms. Madhya Pradesh has announced 5% extra reservation for government school students, Bihar is revising government MBBS fee structure, and Gujarat has introduced fee relaxation under open merit quota. These reforms are designed to help rural and financially weak students who dream of becoming doctors. Hence, domicile certificates have become extremely important. Without domicile proof, no state counseling application will be accepted. Point 7. Relief on fees and bond policy. Students can finally take a sigh of relief. Many states have reduced the bond duration for government MBBS graduates. Earlier, the bond was three to five years. Now it's being reduced to one to two years. Private colleges are also offering fee relaxation. Some have cut annual MBBS fees by 1, 1.5 lakh to fill vacant seats. Colleges in cities like Bhopal, Nagpur, and Patna have combined hostel and mess fees to make it more affordable for students. This is a big relief for middle-class families who struggle with financial pressure after admission.